Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is Luke Smith. And we're here to do what? Do our playthrough of Ashes: Rise of the Phoenix Born. Yes, this is part two, and in traditional Rodney style, I made a mistake that I need to correct. Apologize for that. Thankfully, it's not going to change the gameplay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not too much anyway. When I played the Summon Gilder spell, not only does it cost a main action, it also costs a heart. I didn't spend that heart. Thankfully, at the end of the round last time, though, I had a heart left over. Yes. So that would have been spent, which means I would have rolled it to put mm -hmm. it back into my active pool. So I'll roll it now. And it is... <coughs> heart. <laughs> it's a heart. So there we go. We're back to where we were at the end of the video last time. So I got some suggestions about what to do for my turn. This is a, a difficult game to plan out too far in advance because, again, there's so much interaction that... Once I've done something and Luke does something, that may change what I want to do. But I want to thank Luigi Nikon, Nikon, Luigi Nikon, <laughs> for giving me a suggestion. Let's go to the table and see what he wants me to do. All right, the first thing Luigi wanted me to do, and I hope he's steering me in the right direction here, is have this silver snake attack, he called it the fox, but it's actually the blue jaguar. And this has an attack of four, because it has four status tokens on it. Luke, you have a couple of options here, right? I mean, you can have Aerodel step in and block heroically. Yes. You can have the Blue Jaguar just defend, or you can have it counter, which means it'll hit back, but counter. also because you want it to be countered. Counter. That makes sense, right? Because I am going to defeat you here, right? So one way or the other, you're gonna lose it. You may as well do some damage to me, which you've done. Your blue jaguar, as I said, is gonna be destroyed, which means both of my snakes are gonna to get to chomp on you and get some more status tokens. You have a uh, a respark value here. Yes. Do you want to take this back? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So you're going to have to spend one of your basic die. That's the respark value there. That will go into Luke's hand. This, of course, is being removed. You know what? I don't mind seeing that blue jaguar off the board. Honestly, the gaze power is a real nuisance when I'm trying to bring things out during the round. Thanks, Luigi. Good call. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Luke, I'm not taking a side action here. So if you want to exact some retribution, go ahead. I think I've had enough of that snake. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to use my Phoenix Born's ability. Oh, the old water blast. And I have to one fatigue. Okay, I'll put that on there for you. And a leaf. I know you like calling it fatigue. It is an exhaustion token. Like, ah! <laughs> Just to be clear. See, I'm not the only one who makes mistakes around here. Might I suggest, Luke, you target this snake here? No, he's my best friend. I'll target him. <laughs> I don't want you to target this one. I've been putting a lot of work into this one. Now, Luigi didn't suggest this, so I might be bungling the whole plan here, but I feel like I gotta step in with this Golden Veil. It's a reaction spell that I have. It costs a leaf and a heart. I'll remove those now. It says I can play this spell when an opponent uses a spell ability or die power that would target a unit I control. And then I can just cancel it. So I'm gonna cancel this ability it's still exhausted, but I don't take the two damage. What do you think about that? Don't like it at all. <laughs> now here's something we don't want to forget. Exhaust that snake. <laughs> yes, because it just attacked, and Luke doesn't want that happening again. Well, now I'm going to play the card Massive Growth. Oh, this is an alteration, and I'm assuming you're targeting the Miss Spirit here. This is going to give it, oh boy, it's going to give it plus four attack and plus four life. I do have to spend one leaf and one basic. Okay. That means you've got five attack and five life. That's almost as threatening as my big snake over here. Except yours isn't exhausted. Hmm, back to me. Well, Luigi, this is where our plans go off the rails a little bit here because I know you had wanted me to summon a gilder. And that would also let me do one damage to a target unit. We were going to take out this missed spirit. But um, it's suddenly gotten a little bigger. But you know what? I still think... You had the right idea there. It's going to cost me a leaf and an exhaustion token. The gilder will come out, and I do get to do this little, I don't know, tap on the mist spirit. And I don't think I'll do a side action. For my turn, I'm going to play the card Mist Typhoon. I don't like this one, Luke. I don't like it one bit. It cost one face yes. and one leaf. Oh, it cost a leaf. You had to spend... Your good power die. I like yep. that. That's good. But what's the effect here? I deal one damage to every unit. Right. All my units, anyway. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Not laughs> I'd mine. be very happy to give you one if you'd like. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> well, then this one goes away because it was an and action spell. And? It oh, lets you draw a card. It does let you draw a card. I forget that every time. 
for my side action, I'll use the card Shifting Mists. Yes. Which I have to place an exhaustion on, and it changes two of my dice. Right. So I shall. So you get your power this side back. One. <laughs> okay. And this you one. You got it all worked out here, Luke. All right, I think what I will do next is play Call Upon the Realms. I'm going to change both of these basic dice to their power side, and also one of these uh, pink hearts to the power side as well. So now I'm in a little better position than I was earlier with the dice. That was a main action, though. And I don't think I'll use a side action this turn, so Luke, back over to you. Well, say goodbye to your powerful snake, because <laughs> I'm going to use yeah. dice power, which will allow me to do one damage to any unit. Choose that unit. I, I think that's a good choice. Um, that snake is going to, this fat, fat snake is going to blow up and be removed from the board. That was a pretty big side action. What are you going to do for your main action? I'm going to summon a Miss Spirit, too, actually, in fact. <laughs> of course. Two of them. All right. So you're filling the field back up again, and I'm going to have to do something about that. I think what I'm going to do is summon a Silver Snake to replace the one that was just defeated. And again, because I have that spell focused, I'm able to bring out Silver Snakes with a status token already on them. So that has an attack of one. And again, I don't think I'm going to use a side action here. So Luke, over to you. For my turn, I'm going to play a Summon Miss Spirit card. Oh great, just what I need. More possible Miss Spirits on the board. Because this means you can use these spells once each, bringing out possibly four Miss Spirits in a single round. That's it. And that's enough. All right, sitting here, I am trying to concoct a plan. And this one might be, uh, might be crazy. Might be a little too crazy, in fact. This is a transfer. Uh, as a main action, I'm going to spend two of these hearts. I need a heart and a basic. And then I can move a token from a target player's non-Phoenix-born card to another non-Phoenix-born card that that player controls. I'm going to pick myself. And I'm going to move the wound that's here over to this Gilder which is going to kill it. Now, I know you're thinking, what's going on here? Has Rodney lost his mind? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, possibly. Let's not rule that out as an option. The Gilder has an inheritance effect that says, when it dies, I can place a status token on one of my other units. And I'm going to give that to this Silver Snake. And as a side action, I'm going to use my power die here to kill one of these Mist Spirits. That's going to give status tokens to each of the snakes. Huh? What do you think of that? It's, um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it was smart, but it was interesting. Now for something a little more sensible. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? As my side action, I'll use the dice power's ability. Right. Which lets me take one dice and put it in the exhausted, and I shall take your heart. Okay. Exhaust it. Now, what are you thinking there? I mean, you had... I you guess... could have put out a snake. Yeah, right, I could have meditated. Yes. yes. To get the dice where I wanted for that. And you've stopped that from happening. Now you have a main action. I will play the card, Summon Blue Jaguar. Okay, I think what I need to do next is meditate to get this to a power side. Now the question is, what do I want to throw out? I like what I have in my hand. So I don't want to throw out one of those. I could remove something from my spell board, but I like what I have there. So instead, I think I'll push my luck and discard the top card of my deck, which is Hypnotize. Oh, yes, oh. thank goodness. This is such a good card. No. Oh, you have to go watch the Ashes preparation video we did, and you can see what this card effect is. I can't bring myself to read it right now. That's going to my discard pile. I am going to turn that to the power side, and let's make sure that wasn't wasted. I'm going to use it right now. Oh, wait, I can't use it right now because that would be a second side action. <laughs> Ooh, um, my main action then, what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna have to pass here, I think. Yeah, Luke, back over to you. Well, I know my Miss Spirit is going to die at the end because that card's going to go away, so. Right. Oh, right, because they don't have the one damage. Yes. And one life, it'll, it'll just die right there, <laughs> which will pump my guys up again. Yeah. I do like so, the sound of that. So, might as well attack with it. Right, okay, so wh who are you gonna attack? I think I will attack your snake. Well, I don't think I have much of an option here. I am going to counter this attack because if I just blocked so that I didn't exhaust the snake, the snake's going to die anyway. So I will hit back. It's not going to be enough to kill Luke's missed spirit. He certainly does kill me, but at least he's exhausted. But all is not lost here. 
with the power symbol, Luke, what I'm going to do is kill your missed spirit, your last remaining defender. Oh, foo. <laughs> yeah, do you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. So that's going to pump up the silver snake. And knowing you have no more dice and no way to bring anything else out. You're going to pass? <laughs> No, I am going to attack with my Silver Snake, and I'm going to target Aradel Summerguard, because I know this Mist Spirit, threat that it is, is going to be done at the end of the round. And finally, finally, I get to do some damage to Luke's Phoenixborn. Nothing I can do about that. No, and my Silver Snake is exhausted as well. Well, I'm going to pass. You know what? So am I. All right, so we're in the recovery phase. I've got no units here that can recover. I don't think you do either, Luke. But we can remove exhaustion tokens, so we'll take one off of every card that has one. And you have to lose this massive growth, which means you also lose the Miss Spirit. And this Miss Spirit is dying. So that means my Silver Snake is getting another token. Now we would have the option to exhaust any dice we hadn't used, but <laughs> Luke and I both exhausted all of our dice. The first player token goes over to Luke, and now it's time for us to roll our dice. All right, Luke, best of luck. I know you won't need it. How'd you do? Good. Hey, that's pretty good. I got two power dice. Nice. Now I have two power dice. Nice. All right, now the next thing we have to do is discard any number of cards from our hand that we want to before we draw back up. Luke, do you no. want to? Okay. No, nope. keeping them. <laughs> you know what? I am too, actually. So I'm going to draw up. I'm going to draw two. All right, I got three. That ends the round. Now it's time to turn things back over to you guys. One of the things Luke and I have been talking about, we've been saying how it's going to be neat when we finish up this series, because we wanted to use the basic pre-constructed decks that the rulebook suggests, because like, we figured that's what you guys are mostly going to see. But one of the things Luke's been saying, I think after the last full game we had played, was you're looking forward to like building your own yes, deck, right? Yes, I've seen so many good cards, but they weren't in my deck. <laughs> yeah. And you want to try putting them in. Yeah. In fact, there's even some in mine that could potentially work with yours because we share some of the same dice. Yes. Right? So if you, you know, if you were to use the same, even the same combination of dice, you could still pull stuff over. Yeah. And there's stuff in the other Phoenix Born as well. So uh, that's gonna be something fun to explore later on. But right now, I've gotta say, it's feeling pretty even because although you start with less life and I actually have got a little more damage on you, right now you have the capacity to bring out so many different units now. I just Spit out. <laughs> yes, you can spit out so many next round. Um, Seven. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not fully confident yet. Even though I'm well poised, I have a big snake here yeah. waiting to attack. You do get to go first though, so you're probably gonna wanna deal with him. And I'm gonna need your help. If you have some suggestions about what I should do for my next turn, I'm gonna show you my hand. We'll look at the board state again. Put them in the comments below, and whichever suggestion gets the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.